this year. And more of day two from uh, Kansas State, 2012 Big 12 uh, Outdoor Track and Field Championships with Heather Green, the Mizzou junior and uh, former Jefferson City uh, J. All Stater. Tell me, um, before we get to today, uh, what, um, what 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 your college decision? Did you obviously having success in high school? Were you were you convinced that you wanted to compete in high school? And tell me what the or the in college and tell me how uh, how the decision to com come to Mizzou was. Obviously, it's being close and you grow up. I'm sure uh, being a Missouri fan. And tell me what a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I knew I wanted to compete in college, but I didn't really have the greatest heights coming out of high school. Um, and Mizzou is close. I have always been a Mizzou fan, and I really liked the people. I got to meet a bunch of them before I came, and it was just a good atmosphere. And I really liked the coaching style and the coaches. Right. Willing really to let me give it a shot. That's why I was looking for more than anything else. It's just somebody to let me try. And right. See if I can improve. Um, and it's funny because maybe maybe when sophomore junior year, you and Aaron and Aliwine, both two stars that had success, and you obviously in the, in the high jump and the vault. I thought, man, they, they sure would be good multi eventers in college. And and Aaron is obviously having lots of success doing that. You and you know meets and you know doing a heptathlon and doing three or four open events and and uh and you've kind of taken the easy road yeah. compared to her with sticking with just the vault tell me uh um tell me what it was like being such a part of a successful high school program um it was always exciting i mean the look colliders did a great job at leading the program and all the other coaches you know building around them and it was always exciting it was fun it was a great atmosphere and it was good to compete with great other athletes and you know, be at the top. Right, right. I think of I think teammate Leslie Farmer. I think I don't think ever lost a meet if I'm correct in high school. So, um, so earned was your first when the vault to pull vault today. Your first all conference honor is that right or second? No, it was my first. Okay, and uh, a uh, a PR just over 13 feet, 13 and a quarter. Is that right? Yes, 13 and three quarters. What? How are you seated coming in? I was seated eight. Okay, and a PR of what, 12, 11 something and a fraction? Yeah, so it was just like about an inch. Okay. How did it go? Were you, did you feel good going in? Did you feel like you were getting good runs and good good, good bend yeah, on the pole? It was a decent day. I mean, I feel like I've had better days, but I was able to make it work. And like, that's all yeah. that really matters. So. Right. What, uh, um, did you see anything? Today that thought, oh man, you, you know, just missed a good one or missed the, something that, that gives you confidence going forward. That um, there's lots of room to room for improvement. Or yeah, I mean, there's always room for improvement right. in my vaults. Um, but I mean, it was a good day. It was confidence. I mean, hopefully, I'll be able to qualify for regionals. Um, right. I had some good attempts at 13.6, but I mean, I wish they were a little bit better. But I can't complain. Sure. Tell me uh, what the deal is with this this no look no look pole vault finish. Whether it was at KU a couple weeks ago, or it seems like uh, that's kind of a trademark style for you. Going over backwards. Right. Yeah, I mean, I wish it didn't happen. It's not really what's supposed to happen. Right. But I don't know. It's just been the way I've been able to figure it out. Sometimes. Sure. So it's worked. <laughs> but I hopefully can get better technique and improve it, and it'll make my jump a lot better. When would you first experience the vault? Were you, was that in middle school or? Um, yeah, I started in eighth grade and just kind of, I don't know, for fun, just to see what it was sure. like. A lot of my friends tried to convince me to do it. And I did gymnastics for a long time. Well, that was going to be my next question. That you look like you got a lot of smooth movements, and I know that you know people talk about you know gymnasts always make great vaulters. So, how long did you do gymnastics for? Did you start pretty early, and yeah, like 13 years. I started when I was Goodness. three, so yeah. it was a big part of my life. And I don't know, at some point, it was time to let it go. And track just happened to be there, and pole vaulting was fun, and I liked it. And it seemed to work out well. So right. It was a good transition. I guess. Will you tune in this summer to the London Olympics and watch some of the Team USA gym, gymnasts? Oh yeah. yeah, I love watching gymnastics. It's so. it's fun, yeah. especially the success they've had in yeah. the last decade or yeah. even back to '96. Yeah, um, it's really been fun to watch. So, well, thanks. Congratulations on the Thank All Conference you. honor, and hopefully, the make you'll earn that trip to to Austin in a couple weeks and uh, keep it up. So, right. thanks a Thank bunch. You.